Okay, we're on step 99. We're gonna remove FB1, two, three, and four from the plywood sheet, which I've already done. First, we're going to glue FB1 and FB2 together. So they're gonna go like that, and we need to align those holes. So we're gonna use one of these to hold it in place while the glue is drying. So go ahead and put glue on this. Line those as well as you can. Just gonna try to clean out these holes. And I'll put the, this in here to align them just like that. And don't want to glue this in, so just double check that. So when it's dry or when it's good and tacky, we're going to take that 24 inch piece of Kevlar. This is step 101. We're gonna fold it in half like this, and then it's gotta go through that hole. So it's gonna go through the larger hole first, and then the smaller hole. So it's gonna go like this. So you can either push it through. I've got this nifty little tool. So I'm gonna put that through the hole, just grab it, and then just pull it through. All right, now step 102 is to dry fit these two together like this and it's going to go over the top of the shock cord. And what I would do is to bring one shock cord this way, one that way, just like that. And then we're gonna tie the, the shock cord in a knot. So we're gonna take these two ends and tie it into a knot like that. Pull good and tight. All right, so now in step 103, we're going to pull these away from the disc ever so slightly, and then we're gonna glue it all up. Again, separate these. Like that. And then we're gonna pull this tight just like that. And then we're gonna glue this down. Um, just make sure it doesn't hang over the edge. Smear some glue on there. Press that into it. And then we're gonna put a fillet of glue on everything. And smear it around. All right, so then we're gonna let this dry. Um, we're step 105, it says to tie a small loop one inch in the end of the Kevlar and set the bulkhead assembly dry. So we're gonna take this and just do an overhand knot. And we want this loop to be about an inch long. Okay, we're gonna go into step 106. Now, on the Nike Hercules, the Hercules part, there's 16 fins here. There's one here, one here, one here, and one here. So there's a lot of work to do. In the first part, we're gonna do this main fin, and this is what it's gonna look like when we're done. It's a framework of a plywood with some basswood formers and then it's covered in a paper skin. It's lightweight, it's really strong, but it's a lot of work. So moving on, step 106, from the plywood sheet uh, 40093, we're gonna remove, there's four big main fin cores. So go ahead and remove those, and then um, it says to sand the edges. There's gonna be a lot of sanding on these later. So I'm not gonna sand the edges right now. I'm gonna move right into step 107, and that will be from part number 15506. We're going to remove MF10A. So right here, there's two pieces that are identical. There's an A side and a B side. We're gonna remove all of the 10A. And I said, there's four sheets of these. It's like the uh, booster stage. We're gonna build the top and the bottom side Go ahead and remove those now. Um, there's a lot of parts to remove. 
it's going to take a lot of time. So I'm just going to kind of skip ahead and get everything out and then I'll be right back. Okay, all the thin cores are removed, and I've also removed the MF10A, which is this piece here. Our next step is we're going to glue this into one of the frames. You want to make sure that this is nice and flat. Now, the instructions call for taping it down. Now, not a bad idea, but uh, I'm going to just press it down on my table like this. Okay, so MF10A is going to go into these slots right here. Now, you're, you're going to notice that it hangs over the edge right here. That has been designed to do that. It's going to get sanded off later, so we're not going to worry about it. MF10B... I'm going to do both sides at the same time. So this is very much like the booster fins where you do both sides at the same time or one side first and then do the other side. But I don't like, you know, having glue get into those tabs. So MF10B will go on the other side like this. And I like to put them together, smash them down, uh, make sure that they fit, you know, because if you put get glue in those slots, then getting the other side in is a lot harder. So I'm going to press this down and I'm just going to CA, I'm using thin CA here, and I'm just going to let it uh, wick underneath using capillary action, pressing it down hard so that's nice and straight. Make sure everything's flat. And then I'm going to do the other side as well. All right, so that's 10A and 10B. So now 10B was installed in step 112. So I just did step 107 and 112 at the same time. Okay, so step 108, we're going to take the MF3, and these are the root formers. Okay, so here's the root formers. There are these long pieces right here. And I've already cut the tabs, so they should just pop right out. And again, I'm going to do two sides at the same time. Okay, so now these are going to go right here, and these you do want to sand. I want to get these tabs off because I want to make sure that they're nice and flush against the, uh, the wood. Oh, if, if I didn't make that clear before, um, the high side is going to go here on this edge of the fin so that everything slopes that way. When we build these things, it's going to slope that way and that way and that way. <laughs> okay, so this one here, it needs to be right along the edge of the core fin. Don't allow it to walk away, you know, so like you got a gap between them. It's going to come to bite you later if you do it that way because when we put in these formers here, it's really tight up against this piece. And you're going to do a lot of sanding if you don't get it right up against that edge. So what I'm going to do is put it on the edge at the here, double check it, and I'm going to tack it in place with, a, with just a drop of glue. And that, oops, didn't hold it long enough. Now you also want to get it right up against that corner right there. I'm just going to walk it along that edge there, just tacking it in place until I get to the front. Now, if it hangs over or if it, it's not far enough, don't worry about that. Uh, mine hangs over just ever so slightly, which is fine because we're going to sand off that edge later. Okay, so there is these little tabs here. Don't worry about those right now. Okay, so that one's good. So now I can, I can really press hard on it. And we're going to do the other side same way. So this is step 113 is doing the other side. So I'm doing step 108 and 113 at the same time. Okay, wipe off my glue tip. Double check, make sure it's still straight. <laughs> All right, mine looks pretty good. Looks good, okay. Step. 109, then we're going to do the root formers. Okay, so now they're going to do the same thing as this step. We're going to do those, and that is MF9. So there's two of those per fin. So this is also step 113B as well. Again, let's sand these down to 
take off those tabs. Okay, it's going to slope to the back, so it's going to ramp, the ramp goes down right here. And like before, this one get along that edge. Well, this one's not as critical because we don't have any formers leading off of it. And I can flip it over and do the other side. Notice I got plastic on the table just to keep my thin from sticking to it. Okay, so that was step 109 is to put that on there like that. Okay, so now step 110. Now we're going to start putting in these formers here. And those are from the same sheet, MF8A, MF8B. So MF8A is one side, B is the other side. Then there's seven, six, and five. So you can kind of see the long one. So that's eight, seven, six, and five. And they're all done the same way. This is uh, step 109 and 110. All right, so I'm gonna remove those. And again, like these are here, there's two tabs and they're gonna interlock with each other once you put them in there. So I'll do number MF8 first, and then uh, you'll do the other ones identical. This does take a little bit of time. There's a lot of them, and some of them might need a little bit of sanding. Uh, first, we're going to take the tabs off the top, tabs off the bottom, then we're going to test fit. Okay, so that one fit nicely. And flip it over, so you got these slots that he, these have to go into. That one fit really nice. No sanding at all, but sometimes you might have to sand those little tabs. And if you have to sand those tabs, get a couple of needle files because they're very small, but they need to be sanded. And then uh, once you get that done, go ahead and do glue on both sides. All right, so that was MF8, MF7, 6, and 5 are done the same way. And those are step 110 and step 114. So I did step 110 and 114 at the same time. So go ahead and do that for all the fins and then we'll be back to do MF4, which is a little bit different.